Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 and our dream house challenge. I feel like I need to call it something different now because we're in the dream house, it's completed. But I'm gonna keep it as that, I'm gonna keep it that, it's absolutely fine. So in the last episode, probably one of the freakiest episodes of Sims I've ever, ever recorded. Basically, the butler that we fired because he was an alcoholic and he just roamed the house at night, like drinking, and in the daytime drinking, we fired him, we got a new lovely butler, Jamie, she was great, went out, left the lot, came back, guess who was there? It was a freaky magician butler, his final act as the magician butler came back to our house to come and scare us all. He was standing over our child's bed, guys, over the child's bed, which was very, very freaky, and we had to kick him out the house again. I'm worried he's gonna come back for some more revenge. If he does, we may need a more permanent solution. Also aged up little baby Jessica. So she is now a little toddler, and toddlers are a lot of work. They are a lot of work. So this episode's gonna be about, of course, getting little baby Jess growing up nicely. And also, we need to get Ali back in that gym. His arms were looking buff as hell last episode, so we need to continue on that trend. So if you're looking forward to this episode, please give it a little cheeky thumbs up, and as always, let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see in the next episode. So just before we go into the full game, I've just noticed this little quiz. What kind of parent would you be? Guys, let's find out, let's find out. So this is a quiz for the new Sims DLC that will be coming out. The new pack, I should say, rather than DLC, which is Sims for Parenthood. So let's find out what kind of parent we would be. Let us take the quiz. Okay, what is the most offensive behavior? Making a mess, biting, saying bad words, or shoving? Guys, biting children sounds, oh my gosh, look at that mess, look at that mess. <gasps> he is not impressed in his little corduroy jeans. Okay, I'm gonna say biting. Biting children sounds terrifying. Which school project would be the most fun to build? Robot, rocket, Tesla coil, or bridge? <gasps> I don't know, they all sound pretty cool, but I'm probably gonna go for a rocket. What kind of sandwich would you pack for lunch? She looks well impressed with her sandwich making there. A little tum tum out, a little shoulder out, cold shoulder guys. Uh, peanut butter and jelly, nope, tried that, did not like it. Tuna fish, leftovers, veggies and hummus. Oh my gosh, hummus. Hummus is the best thing in the whole world. So it's gotta be veggie and hummus, guys. What would you, where would you volunteer? Oh my gosh, you can volunteer, that's so cool. Soup kitchen, nursing home. I volunteered at a nursing home for like the whole of my sixth form. Beach cleanup or bake sale? <gasps> I don't know, I'm kind of liking the idea of a bake sale, guys. I'm gonna click that. What is your favorite morning activity? Well, none, because I hate mornings. Journaling, watching cartoons, sleeping in or exercising. Guys, it's gonna be sleeping in. I'm sorry, but it just is. Okay, you got the fun parent, guys. Who needs to roll with the iron fist when the foam one is so much better? Being the cool parent is all that matters and you have the tendency to say yes more than you say no. Cupcakes for dinner? Sure. Oh, no, 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 I want a healthy, nutritious dinner. If you guys watch the what I eat in a day thing, we eat pretty healthy and I don't wanna change that. But I'm kind of happy that I'm at least the fun parent. So that was just a little bit of fun. Let's actually get into the game now, guys. <laughs> Look at the little baby is chilling out together. Oh no! Oh no, poor little Jessicans is sad. <gasps> she's sad because she's hungry. And she's hungry because we never bought her a high chair. I also downloaded some new toddler hairs. So we will try those out in just a moment's time. But first of all, this house is not very kitty friendly, guys. Let's get that set up. I'll tell you what, should we temporarily... Can I just grab one chair, please? Just the one, there we go. We're gonna temporarily swap out... Um, what that one chair for a childy chair here we go so we couldn't afford the nice chairs and stuff this time at uh, last time because we was all poor and whatnot but this time we can what color should we go for i'm kind of liking this little pinky one let's get this little pinky one on there and then we don't really have that much toddler stuff right now so we should probably work on that guys what can we put um well first of all she's kind of gonna need a room and this was the plan for her room. And I kind of like, I don't want to get rid of all that stuff. Like, I like the way that room looks. Ooh. Oh, guys, I don't know. Maybe I just need to put it in the family inventory for now, okay? In the inventory. She can keep her wardrobe. She can keep that. I think everything else is okay, though. So, let's get a little, little Kitty Weeks room sorted. Toddlers only. Oh, she can have a cool race car bed, guys. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, I like this one with a little unicorn on it. Okay, so she's got her own little cool bed. Should we get her a little cool little monster potty? 
Monster potty, there we go. Uh, she can have a little dresser. Oh, I like this room, it's looking all cute. Actually, let's put the dresser in the corner, put the little, this little guy just here. Um, oh, what's this? <gasps> a rainbow shelf! Yes, please! <gasps> a toddler bookcase! Why on earth not? Why is this room so dark? Like, why are those lights not on? Very annoying. What's this? Oh, it's like a little corner thing. Could we really maybe put that at the end of her bed? It needs to be a better color though. Maybe purple to match her bed. <gasps> there we go. And maybe we can put like a... Um... Oh, could that go on the side like that? And then we put a little lamp on it. Can she... Do you want her to be scared of the dark, guys? What about some little... I mean, I feel like you're not meant to put candles in a child's room. I feel like that's like child 101. Don't put, don't put any candles in there. <gasps> a cloud lamp. Yes, okay, I'm putting it like just above her bed, so she's got a little cloud. There's very high ceilings in this house, guys. A little bunny rabbit! Hello! A power crystal. Ooh, yes. Put some like little, little things on her wall. Make it all kitty, guys. A oh no, he's creepy as hell, we ain't getting him. Look, we can get these little balloons. Uh, where's a good place to put the hot air balloons? Maybe here? Yay! Look, it already had a little panda. It was already halfway there, guys. And then what could her favorite Pokemon be? I'm thinking Jigglypuff. There we go. And we need some cute stuff on here as well. <gasps> I love ladybirds. Let's put that on there. She needs some pencils for drawing her dreams. Okay, I've put a little, a little painting of a pear on there. And a little cut on there. But I can't fit anything else on. But I think her room's looking really cute, guys. Very childlike. Is that like a child rug? <gasps> Maybe this... Yay! So she's got the grown-up bits to grow into her as she ages up. <gasps> we put some petals on her. <laughs> oh no, we don't want dirt on the floor. I think that's looking pretty freaking cute, guys. Oh, happy family rug. <gasps> oh, uh, let's put that in there as well. <laughs> okay, her room is freaking adorable. Like, I've oh, she needs some toys to play with, doesn't she? <gasps> A wabbit tablet! Yes, I'll put that on the floor ready for her to pick up and use. These kids know how to use this kind of thing, guys. <gasps> a dollhouse! What is the littest dollhouse I can buy her? Oh, it's children only. So if you want to play with it as a little kid. Oh no, toddlers only as well. But I don't have enough money for it. Okay, we're going to save up for a really, really cool um, little dollhouse for her. It has made me realize that James's room is perhaps a little bit too grown up, guys. So I think we should make his room a little bit more childlike. Okay, a little school bag at the end of his bed. Um, he does not need a VIP bucket of champagne, I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's good without that. Let's put him a little football on there. Maybe a little action figure. There we go. He wants both of them. Get the little girl on there too. It is a very grown-up room for a kid, isn't it? Maybe we can do this. Something that will make his whole room a little bit more child-friendly. There we go. Is there any, like, childy kind of paintings we can put on there? There we go. It's starting to look way more kid-friendly now, guys. I didn't realize how much I was not allowing him to be who he was. I spent a lot of money doing this, guys, but it's worth it. It's worth it for our children, you know? Okay, I think I've just about spent up here, which is an annoying because I want to get this helicopter for him. So we're going to do a little bit of saving to make sure that we can get them everything they want. Look, I've got all, like, stuff to put on here as well. Look, I could put a little car... A little truck. And that's it, guys. We had three dollars. Don't say we don't look after our children. I mean, they don't actually look after them, but they buy them things. <laughs> I mean, it's 9 p.m. and all the children are still up. Is somebody she's happy? Is she still hungry though? I don't want her to be taken away from us before we've even started. Okay, is anybody up? Uh Ali's up. Okay, Ali. Why don't you go and um give food to Jessica? Give her what's a good before going to bed? Little ham and cheese sandwich for little Jessicans. I mean, you have to put her in there, you know. And then when she's eaten, we will put her to bed and tomorrow we will try some new hairstyles out on her. So look, Jamie is back in the house. The less creepy butler has returned, thankfully. How cool is our kitchen, by the way? Look at all the stuff on the walls. I spent ages doing that, guys. Ages and ages. I also have this little yogurt with me because I'm very hungry. I'm always hungry. I'm one of those people that could just eat forever. Oh, look, what? Ali's like making a proper effort with little uh, baby Jess. I think he likes having a daughter. Oh, Je <gasps> oh no, look at little baby Jess. She's so tired that she she cannot be read to sleep because look at her. 
Oh no, okay, just straight up put her to bed. Put her to sleep, okay? Jessica, wake up, little bean. Wake up, Bubba. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping that this whole little rabbit sort of bookcase thing I've got going on here. It's fine, look, she's in her little tiger onesie. Look how cute it is. Oh no, he is reading her to sleep. Oh yay. Oh, that's very sweet. I think she's gonna fall asleep in absolutely no time because she has got to be super, super tired. Oh yeah, she acquired the imagination skill from his beautiful, beautiful storytelling. Okay, little Jessica is asleep in her cute new little room. There she goes. I think I downloaded some more eyebrows as well because her eyebrows are weird. So we will see you tomorrow morning. Jamie's still up, but literally all she's doing is checking for dust. There's no excessive, oh wait. Oh no, she's putting a drink in the dishwasher, guys. No excessive amounts of alcohol being drunk by the butler on a night, which is great news. <gasps> Claire's up very early. Wow, okay, since you're up so early, Claire, why don't you go for a jog? Have fun, bye. Oh my gosh, the butler can't cook us any food because we have no money. Okay, Claire, you definitely need to just go ahead and do a product placement because we need money pretty desperately, okay? Social networking, advertise, me massive sponsorship. There we go. Hopefully this is gonna give us some much, much needed funds. Oh no, she's not doing it. Claire, forget your child for a moment. Come sit here. Sit here. Come on. Come on. I swear, you have to coax them into working now. Like, you have to get them, like, sit on the chair, look at the computer. <laughs> Ever since they got rich, they don't want to work anymore. Okay, massive sponsorship. There we go. Now she's doing it. Look at Evie, like, actually flat as a pancake on the floor over there. She went for a beautiful walk this morning and she's feeling pretty tired. So there we go. Okay, so we lost nearly a million followers. Oh, <gasps> your sponsorship fell flat and you didn't get paid? Oh no, Claire, we definitely need money though. <gasps> Have you got work today at least? No, you don't. You know what? We don't care how many followers we've got anymore because we're already in the dream house. So, you know what? You just need to, st you need to try it again. <gasps> oh my gosh. After the sponsorship ends, Claire glances at the replies. Betrayed, forsaken, atrocious, sellout. Mammoth, Fuz Talarian? I've never even heard of that. <gasps> you didn't get paid again and we lost more followers. Okay, we can't do this anymore. Also, now that James on the honor roll, he may as well have a sign on his back that says, kick me. Oh wait, he does. Should he tell the teacher or try and find the culprit on his own? Find it on your own, Gems. <gasps> yeah, he found it on his own and he put it on his back instead. Well done, little James. Okay, Jessica has been asleep for like, ever, forever. Why don't, can we ask her to go and like, cl go clean our child, okay? Oh my god, how rude is that? Just, go on, go deal with stuff, okay? Claire, why don't you go and at least paint for some money or something? We need money, guys. Oh my gosh, I don't work for free, you know? If you ever want my help again, you better get your art together and pay the bill. That's the gardener. Look how sad she looks about leaving without getting paid. Oh my gosh, guys, we really, really need money. Okay, Claire painted a masterpiece. Oh my gosh, the maid didn't get cleaned either. Claire, sell it, quick. Do you want to sell it? Yes, I do. Oh. Guys, finally we have money again. Okay, Claire, we can't allow that to happen again, so you're going to have to do more painting, I'm afraid. The butler's going to have to assign, um, attend to poor little Jessicans. Is she coming to get her? Butler, go, go look after the child. Go on. Oh, I hope that this isn't, like, Jess doesn't become one of those poor, sad little children who has to get looked after by the help. I don't even know how we can clean it either, because I don't actually... Oh my gosh, the butler just got changed, look. What the hell? Why is she... <laughs> she just got changed into her party gear for some reason. But I don't care, because she's looking after little Jessicans. Okay, we don't have a bath in any of the rooms. So as a result, I can't clean the baby. So we're gonna have to change one of the bathrooms and actually put like, I think maybe this one and actually put a bath in there. Can we get like a bath shower duo type thing? Combination of a shower and a bathtub. It's not as pretty as the one we had in there before. We can at least maybe get it nicer colors. Ugh, that's still pretty grim. Oh God, they're all quite ugly colors, aren't they? Ugh, it's not, look how pretty this one is. It's not as nice as that. But at least it's gonna allow us to like bathe our child 
Which is obviously quite important, guys. So I'm going to move this over here. Pop this into that little corner. There we go. A nice little ferny kind of plant. I think houses look so nice when they've got loads of plants in them. It's made me... Ooh, we can get rid of this. It's made me want to put way more plants in the house now. Okay, guys. There we go. Lots more lovely little plants everywhere. Making the house look all pretty and whatnot. Okay, so once Jessica's feeling all um, happy again... Oh, she's all stink. But when she's happy again, we can try our new hairstyles on her. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Literally, look at Jessica. She's even got dirt on her nose. Okay, Claire, Claire's coming to come and check on her. She's like, hmm, I should probably check in on my child. Oh, she's so stinky. Oh my gosh. What can we do to help her? Okay, give her a little hug. Make her feel a little bit better. Where's the hug option gone? There we go, hug. And then we can bring her upstairs into the new bath and hopefully give her a cheeky little bubble bath in there. <gasps> She's saying that she can't get there? What? Why can't you use a new bubble bath? I don't understand. Uh, let's make, like, I'm just going to move it into the hole. This is pretty drastic. But I want to see why she can't get to it. If it's something, something else. Uh, look, it's hot. It's almost nine o'clock at night. We've been trying to give her a bath since this morning. <laughs> give your child a bath for God's sake. Okay, finally. <laughs> finally, Jess is getting a little bit of a wash. That she desperately needed because she was pretty gross. Claire's frozen and Jessica's walking out straight through her. Ben, hey. Awesome, okay. What? Oh, what up. even just happened there? What even just happened? Okay, Jess, can you now go please uh, plan your outfit and we can try on your new hairs? Okay, I don't like this new bathroom layout as much. But it is seems to be what is actually working because look, Claire can go in there and get a shower. So... Now that that's sorted, let's finally get to work on Jess's appearance, guys. Okay, let's see if any of these new hairstyles have come in. There we go! So look, we've got this... That is a very, very thick ponytail right there, guys. We've got this cute, like, little... Um, that's very sweet, kind of. Oh, look how cute it would look pink. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm not sure if I advise making child's hair pink, but it's so cute when you do. And then these are like the more normal colors, I guess. So Jess would probably be like this color, right? And then that's more of a boy's one. See, I downloaded a lot more. And those are the ones that have arrived. <laughs> Not quite the full selection I was hoping for, but, you know, better than a punch in the face. I think, I actually think that is the cutest thing ever. Like, how cute does she look with that hair? I know you're not meant to dye your child's hair, but... I'm gonna dye her hair. <laughs> I don't know. What, let me know what you guys think. Why has her eyes got all creepy again? So yeah, I'm gonna go with that hair, guys. I don't even care. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Is there any new hairs for gems? <gasps> Look, so he can get that one. But she can't. Why? It said it was toddler friendly. I also think this hair is kind of cute for little James. What do you guys think? Something a little bit different for him. Stop doing that creepy eye thing, but look. I think that's quite cool. I think we should give him that hair. <gasps> oh, what? I could put a bow in her hair. <gasps> it's kind of strange where it is. Oh, look. There's more hair here. Oh, it's a little flick coming out the back of her head. But you know what? I don't care. She's having a bow to match her hair. A little pink bow. There we go. If we go for the more subtle option. <laughs> oh, she looks so cute with that hair, guys. So freaking cute. I love it. Oh my gosh, you could also get this hair. What on earth? I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm kind of drawn to though the the um the cute little pink hair with the little bow in the back. I think it's really sweet. <gasps> Where's her bow gone? She needs her cute little bow. <laughs> I think it's cute, guys. Our child is an anime character. Okay, she oh look how cute she looks in the bottom there with her hair and her cuteness and whatnot. Ali's feeling happy and he's cooking up some steaks on the barbecue. <laughs> okay, Ali, enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself there. He's actually done a pretty good job of them. Like, they're a bit overdone for my taste, but you know what? I didn't even know he could cook steaks, so well done. Well, he's just cooked them, left them on the table and gone to bed. How freaking wasteful. They're going in the fridge, okay? Claire's like, what's that about steaks? <laughs> Runs straight downstairs. So everybody's eating steak for breakfast instead. <laughs> it's kind of unconventional, but you know what? If it's tasty and it works, 
<laughs> then it works, guys. It works. Okay. So I think today is the day that Ali is going to hit the gym hard. Jessica's got, look, got a little cereal waiting for her. <gasps> no, you don't. You don't eat grilled steak. Okay. I tell you what, Claire. Why don't you're gonna you're gonna work go to work today? But you're gonna go put Jessica in a crib so that she can eat. Ali, today is the day where you get buff. So let's get in here. Let's get working out. Do a little workout. Do a little workout. One person has downloaded the Ali and Claire dream house. Thank you. Oh my gosh, we're over a thousand downloads, which is so freaking awesome. Don't forget if you're downloading the house. You have to, have to, have to go to the description in the video. Uh, in the last two videos, I think I'll put it in. I'll put it in this one too. And make sure you are downloading my custom content pack. It's going to be online for, I think, like another week or so. But you need to make sure you download it because um, that is how you will get all of the extra decorations I got in this house. Because there's a lot of custom content in this house, guys. I just realized Ali never went to his warehouse party. Like, he just never ended up going. I don't know if he just... I don't know what was the right way to go, but... Maybe Ali needs, like, a lad's night out. You know what I'm thinking? I think he needs a lad's night out. Jessica still hasn't eaten. Literally. Worst parents ever. Where is she gone? Now Claire's missing. Oh, the kid is trying to get down the stairs on her own because nobody will take her down. Like, what the hell, Claire? You're missing work? Claire's just there, like, parenting is hard. My life is hard. Tell you what, Claire, just go to work. You're useless. Just go to work. Just go to work. Jessica, babe, where are you off? Oh, she's sat outside eating some steak. Oh, no, the steak is gone. Where is your food, honey? Oh, the steak was smelly. She's starving. Can somebody please look after the toddler? Useless. Useless parenting by Claire. That. Oh, what's he doing? Just put her in the thing. Why does everything take so long? There we go. There we go. Ali's watching some spots. Oh, the kid's been taken away before she got the chance to eat. What the hell is- th what the hell is the nanny doing? Oh my gosh, just let the child eat for God's sake. Why well, she just brought her upstairs and now she's got a drink? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, like, this is really stressing me out. Just let the child eat, they're trying to kill her. Put Jessica here right now. Jessica's gonna die. She's literally gonna die of hunger, look at her. Okay, Jessica eats. Eat before anyone can stop you from eating. Why won't she eat? No, she's killing herself. Oh my gosh, it's so stressful. So stressful having a kid, guys. <gasps> James has completed the rambunctious scamp aspiration. <gasps> Trey earned physically gifted, builds physical skills faster. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. We could give him like a whole new thing to do now. Why don't we give him the mental one? There we go. Wizkid! He can try and do all of them. What does he need for this? Chess and read with an adult for two hours. That's pretty cool. Play three games of chess. Does he have to play against somebody else? Because we've actually got a chess table. There we go. Play. Go play some chess. Is our child still alive? Oh, now she needs a toilet. Okay, okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh, guys, <laughs> she's stressing me out. We bought a little, there we go, potty train Jessica. Oh my gosh, Claire literally is just ignoring me. Potty train her. Oh, she's just playing on her computer. Why won't you potty train her? Ah! Oh my gosh, finally, like two hours after the kid needed the toilet, you finally allowed her to go to the toilet. You're uncomfortable. Think about the poor kid. It's got no fun in its life at all. Oh my gosh. Go go at least read her to sleep, okay? There we go. Finally, she's doing a little bit of parenting. Maybe it's her outfit. Maybe she thinks she's too trendy for parenting. What's going on? Pass out? You're in bed. Why would you get out of bed and pass out? No! Okay, just put her to sleep. Just put her to sleep. <laughs> Jessica, wake up. No no more napping on the floor. Guys, this has been the biggest failure in parenting for any Sims episode I've ever seen in my entire life. This has been a train wreck. Why is there a Pokeball on the table? Okay, Claire and Ali are both in bad moods. There's one sure way to stop that, guys. That is a woo-woo. So woo-woo is the happening. Once Sally finishes his steak, <laughs> he's just like, hold up, babe, I'm just eating some steak. Look at these little cheeky tomatoes and everything. 
She's like, can we? Why is it happening? Is it not happening? Like, you're just leaving me hanging here. You finished your stay, Kali. Oh no, he's cancelled the woo woos for sleeps. No. Claire, what are you. No, guys, you come on. You've got two kids. But you're still young, beautiful people. Can we please do some woo woos? No one in this house listens to me. Nobody in this whole house listens to me. Woo woos. I don't care how tired you are. You guys are woo wooing. Ali. Get out of bed. Get your woo woo face on. And get woo woo in. This is not a discussion. This is woo woo time. Worst people. Not even just the worst parents ever. Literally the worst people ever. At least our house is gorgeous, you know? You need to look at the positives when everyone in your family is behaving like idiots. I think we're gonna have to leave it there because they've proven this episode that they're kind of trash. <laughs> trash parents. They need some time to have a little think, recoup, and then come back and be a united parenting front. Be better parents. Don't, don't just sleep when your child wants your attention. Don't ignore your child and decide that your outfit's too cool to look after, uh, look after your child. At least the kids have cool rooms. You know what? I promised, I promised that if we had enough money, I would get them something cool each. So, little Jim Bob, here is your remote control helicopter. There you go. And then, little Jessicans, you wanted a dollhouse. You, my love, will get a dollhouse. There we go. So Jessica now has her beautiful dollhouse. Maybe she can make the little dolls have the childhood that she is not having. And James has a remote control helicopter. Maybe he can use it to fly away from his terrible parents. Despite those mishaps, I hope you guys still enjoyed this episode of the Sims 3 Dream House Challenge. Next episode, I promise you, Ali's getting buff and he's going on a lad's night out. It's gonna happen. James is gonna become the biggest whiz kid ever and Jessica is gonna have the childhood that she deserves. So make sure you tune in next episode for a happier life for all of our Sims after this very trying time. Hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!